What's up everybody? Today we're going to be looking at a new map um, by War Bosby, which is, uh, if you're unfamiliar with him, um, if, you, if you remember the Homakra map that I've been playing on uh, in my, my channel, and that series there, he did the edit of that. And this was this is his map, uh, Ramna, which is looks like it's based off of uh, real world location because we've got a pretty much a Google, you know, G Google imagery or some sort of imagery map here for the PDA. Uh, and this, by the way, is my first time looking at this, so I haven't even checked it out uh, yet until just now. Um, so it's like, you know, we've got a few different things for sale and stuff. We've got uh, got your biogas plant down there. It looks like there's a gas station in between there. Um, there's a lime station. We're at the shop right now. I see a sawmill, grain mill, barn. Uh, looks like there's a port southeast. We're going to check all this stuff out. There's an animal dealer and a spinnery. So there's lots of stuff to do. But uh, I'm going to leave this little mini map open. And uh, so this is the shop. Um, looks like, uh, you know, we got lots of storage areas. Um, these doors open, I believe. Yep. Yep. So it's like all the doors open. I'm assuming maybe this one opens as well. No, okay, that one doesn't open. All right. But uh, yeah, we just got a, a nice shop area, uh, kind of fenced in. Um, looks like my vehicle spawned here, so I'm assuming that all the other vehicles, whenever you buy them, will spawn in this area. Um, there is a spot here to sell your vehicles, or repair, I guess. Um, let's see, what else? I don't see really anything. I mean, there's something right over I think that's the, the, the sawmill right over there. Yep, looks like the sawmill there. So, other than your vehicle spawning when you purchase them, and a spot here to either repair or sell your vehicles, looks like that's all this is. It's just a shop area. So let's hop in the truck. And let's go ride around. Like I said, I have not even looked at this map yet. I was sent this, and uh, from my understanding, it's still in sort of beta testing. And uh, so, you know, some stuff may or may not work may or may not be finished um, but we'll, we'll check it out and see anyway I was really impressed with uh, War Bosby's uh, edit of Homakra uh, you probably heard me say it several times that uh, I've uh, really enjoyed that that map let's see oh, I guess we could keep we'll keep going this way it's like it loops back around in the sawmill I'm gonna go check that out first. Uh, so yeah, it looks like this map is uh, basically set up for doing a lot of different things. Uh, you know, like, like I said, there's an animal dealer, there's places to sell grain and things like that. So it's like there's a lot of things you can do on this map. Uh, I'll tell you, let's go check out the sawmill first. That's my main interest. All right, so it's like a pretty pretty standard setup. You know, you got your uh, sawmill here. It's a spot there to sell the lumber and the wood, and that's pretty cool how that goes down into the water. So let's go check out the other side. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming maybe that there's a spot to sell some wood chips, probably right around here, because this sawmill does have that model on it. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, I see the marker. So there's probably a spot right there for wood chips. Looks like there's uh, some large mounds of wood chips back there. Uh, a little wood yard back here. So that's pretty cool. And it's like there's some spots set up if you wanted to put some placeables down. There's plenty of room over here. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, so let's uh, let's keep going uh, north first, and then we'll head back south and check out the biogas plant. Let's continue up this way. Let's see. I probably should have taken that right. But I'm gonna, let's get back out here so we can find this main road. So there's a there's a house there. I was just looking to see if there was anything like chicken coops or anything. Of course, I think all that's placeable. I don't. 
play that part of the game. I just do the forestry. So nice little little town set up here. Some roads leading different places and around through the town. Uh, again, I'm trying to find that main road, which I think this is it right here. Let's let's look around in here. Alright, so it looks like there's uh, probably a grain cell point right there. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's the grain mill, I think. Let's get over here. We can see the map good. Yeah, so there are some fields with stuff already set up. It's like uh, probably some sunflowers, uh, canola. Looks like there's some barley. And well, that could be wheat right there. And it's like sunflower. So there's lots of stuff to do here. This is a. I guess a farming slash logging, because I bet you out in this area here is all trees. We'll go look and see for a second. But yeah, so there's the grain mill right there. Okay. So that's the grain mill. And it looks like there's, uh, those are possibly, well, see, I guess those aren't buy points. But there's a sell point there for grain, I bet. And it's like nothing back over here. Okay. All right, so let's continue on. And let's go up this way. Looks like this leads towards everything else. <coughs> Y'all just have to excuse me. I'm uh, battling some sinus stuff. All right, so there's a gas station. Let's uh, make sure all that works. Yep. Start filling this there. And let's see what's up here. So we got the barn. The barn is up this way. And there's a few more things past that we'll go look at first. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing that the barn up here is. Uh, Probably where you can sell hay and grass and stuff. Like I said, I don't play that part of the game very much. I'm not sure what all exactly is. Yeah, there's some kind of sell points or something for something right there. It could be animals too, I guess, maybe. Alright, let's get back down here on the main road. really well done I mean you know they, since they use the the uh, imagery for their PDA it's it's really good to see that everything lines up with you know the roads and, and all that but that was uh, maybe not terribly difficult but somewhat difficult okay so let's see what we got here uh, port southeast okay so probably just another place to sell grain because um, uh, I think that's what that's for. Don't know what that says. And there's enough room there if you wanted to play some kind of place, we well, could. Alright, and up here I believe is the animal dealer. Like there's uh, some corn or something there planted, and fields of other things planted. I'm guessing that says animal dealer. That's what it shows on the map too. So there's that. There's your uh, markers there for. I guess buying animals or selling them. And just more little farmhouses and fields of things planted. That's uh, sunflowers right there. And then here's the spinnery, which I guess is where you would sell things like wool and 
not sure what else. Like I said, I don't, I don't play the farming side of it much, hardly ever. All right, and so then that's, I'm guessing right down there is the edge of the map. Yep, that's the edge of the map right there, okay. All right, so let's get to the fun part, which is what I enjoy is the forestry. And, you know, what I enjoyed on Hamakura was, uh, you know, I, I never played the original uh, version of Hamakura, just the War Bosby uh, edit. And I really enjoyed that because of all the trees and the little logging roads that were kind of rough and grown in and things like that. And I really got a lot of inspiration off of that for my future maps. Okay, so, uh, let's see, off to our right is the majority of the forest, so I think what we're going to do is, looks like there's something right here, let's just take off in this direction, and we'll just kind of uh, go a little ways into the forest, because like I said, I, I suspect that everything over there to the left side of this road that runs north-south, that, that west side over there, is probably just all going to be uh, trees and forestry area, which I really like. So let's just kind of drive in here. We won't look around everywhere, but we'll go check it out. And I like how he's got the, the little uh, overgrown roads in here and the, the water splotches, and water puddles. rocks and, and tree branches and stumps and things. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't even know if this is where we needed to go or not, but let's continue driving around here. Alright, looks like it's probably not going to go anywhere else, so let's just kind of dive off in here and we'll take a look at some of the details that are in here. Again, the rocks and tree branches and stumps and things. It's pretty cool. Alright, here's a road. Alright. So this probably isn't going to... I probably should have went the other way. Alright, it's like there's lots of different varieties of trees in here too. Spruce and some other things. But let's go back this way. Actually, let's, let's go look back this way first. I just want to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, that's when I thought it stopped right there. Okay. All right, so that one, that road kind of dead ends right here at the edge of the map. So let's go back the other way. Take a look. Now I'm guessing that since uh, this map is based off a real world location, that I bet you if we were to go back to our right, we would find another road. Well, let's see where this one goes first. really rough in there. You know, I like, I like the, uh, the dense tree. Well, this isn't terribly dense, but I, I like the dense trees. This kind of gives that dark, ominous, you know, like you're really back in the woods somewhere. And on the edit of Homakra that War Bosby did, it almost seems like, um, you know, it's a lot darker on the map than usual, which they could have adjusted the sun position, I guess. But yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I may play on this map a little. You know, I'm still working on Homakra, uh, so there's that, but I may play on this some, I'm not sure yet. a little, uh, I don't know if you want to call it deer stand or watchtower or what that is, but there's something there. And here's another little road that kind of goes back into the, deeper into the woods. So let's go down here and check it out. 
And uh, this, I noticed this, uh, this tree is painted here. That's pretty cool. I guess that's some sort of a marker tree for, uh, I don't know if that's, uh, you know, a boundary tree or what that marker's for exactly. Um, actually, I haven't looked at this yet. Let's look at the, uh, uh, the main map and we'll check out the farmlands. Okay. Let's get scrolled all the way back out here so we can see everything. Okay, let's turn on the lands. And it looks like they haven't set anything up as far as uh, farmlands. I'm not sure if that's, you know, intentional or if that's just something they haven't done yet or what. But it looks like you just purchased the whole, whole lot of land. Which, you know, in some cases that's pretty cool. But uh, I really like the, uh, you know, having to purchase the land and then go, go cut it and then save up your money and, you know, all that stuff to buy the next track of timber. That's pretty neat. So maybe that's something that's coming. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know much about this map. I was just given to it, or given it was given to me to uh, review and make a video on, and kind of help promote a little bit. So I'm not sure what all changes are coming. I know this is still sort of like beta stage, but again, this is basically the same thing that I was seeing over on the Homakra edit by War Bosby which is the these rough roads and all the trees um, the really sort of overgrown forest look was pretty cool all right that one just comes to an end right there actually let's go this way and let's just see if there is a main road or something over here looks like there is yeah okay here we go so again, this is following looks like some sort of a real-world location. I'm not sure where this is. Uh, let's see if these trees right here have collisions on. Oh, they do. Okay. So don't hit those trees. Your truck will come to a dead stop. <laughs> Which is fine. You know, I do that on my maps too. But sometimes I'll make those actually with no collisions, just so you know if it's in a tight spot or something. Usually I'll turn that off, but no big deal. Okay, so sort of a main road back in here, uh, probably, you know, give you access to both sides of this road to log it. Again, just lots of trees to cut, so that, that road there ends, and we'll go check out just a couple more spots. We still need to go south of where we were at the shop and check out what's down there, which is the biogas plant. Alright, I'm going kind of fast because there's just really nothing but trees out here. Trees and rocks. And there's where we came up. So this is this is all new here. So I've got a big cliff side. This little valley area. Lots and lots of trees to cut. There's a big open area. It's like it's been cut already. You can see stumps. Alright, so we got a fork in the road. Let's see. So back, let's go back this way real quick. Let's just look around. Again, I'm pretty impressed with uh, this actually following the uh, imagery, the real world imagery, That's that took some effort there. Alright, so we got a little bridge over some water, it's like a little creek. That's pretty neat. More cut over, there's another deer stand over there. And it's like we've got a spot there heading off back into the forest flowers in the middle of the road. <laughs> Alright, here's another one of those red banded trees. I'm, I'm just curious as to what that's what that signifies. I don't know. Because like I said there's no there's no farmland set up yet. I don't see anything back that way. Uh, there, well there's one there. Okay, I see, oh, I see a line. Okay, so there's a line of, of red ringed trees. So if we stand here, 
turn around. No, I don't see one there. Okay, well, they must be boundary trees of some sort. Because I see a couple through there that are in a line. Or appear to be somewhat in a line. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, just lots and lots of trees, especially in through there. It's pretty thick in there. I'm going to look forward to cutting that if I get around to playing this map. Head up, uh, let's go up this way. Looks like some piles of logs stacked up there that they can get picked up. So if you're into forestry and agriculture, you know, this is kind of the, the map for you. Looks like uh, this is going to be pretty cool because there's lots of stuff you can do. Uh, some little landing sites set up. And there's, you know, uh, an animal dealer, uh, spinnery and stuff like that where you can sell grain and other things. And alright, looks like this has not been completed yet or unless it was left this way intentionally. But again, like I said, this is uh, still in beta version, still undergoing some testing and stuff, so it's likely that they just haven't finished this yet. But this is a this is a big map. Really big map. I, I wonder if this is a 4x map because this thing is huge. All right, so it's like that all that over there is just not been completed yet. Okay, so uh, I bet you the most most of the rest of this is just uh, all just trees and various little roads and forest roads and things back in there. So let's just go back to the uh, main road down there. Let's go check out the biogas plant. Anything else along that way? Looks like there's another gas station. Take a look when we get down to the bottom of this map. I think this may be a 4x map. This thing is huge. It feels big anyway. So I think a, a 4x map, I believe, is pixel size. I believe it's, uh -oh. uh, I believe it's uh, 496 by 496, if I remember correctly. So we'll look when we get down to the bottom of the map and see if, it, if it's if we get past. Uh, well, it's like we are going to get past the uh, 2048 number, which I think is uh, 2x map, standard size map. So this must be a 4x map. Alright, so we're getting back into the fields of... Uh, Cultural things planted. And coming back into the town.
And I believe, if I remember correctly, War Bosby said this map is going to be released on December 20th. That's what they're shooting for. So it'll be just a few days and we should have this map. But I'm going to have to ask him where this map is based out of, you know, what their uh, location in the real world is supposed to, where this is supposed to be, because this is very nice. I mean, I, like I said, I've been really impressed that, that the, uh, the roads and everything matches the real world imagery. That's not terribly hard to do, but it's, you've got to get everything just right to make the PDA match up and all that, and everything looks good to me. Again, there's lots of fields you can harvest. Looks like these are all, you know, either harvest ready or they're about stage. Okay, so we got the biogas plant here finally. Let's go check this out. Alright, lots of silos to place uh, whatever in there. go back this way. I don't think there's much else to see down here, but I really do like it how he's got the, the fields, you know, not perfectly all squared and whatever. And then the lines of trees in there. It's, you know, uh, War Bosby does a really good job as far as, like, attention to detail and stuff. Really impressed with, with uh, his maps. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the map, and it looks like this is going to be a 4X map. Um, so the way you can tell is up at the very top left where it says map up there, that would be zero zero, and where we're at is at the bottom, and it looks like it's saying uh, 3485, but if you notice, I'm hitting the edge of the map right there, and let's see, I'm trying to see if, yeah, see, there's there's a little bit more out there so this this is the edge where he's got it but you can see through there there's, there's water out there and everything so the map actually extends out a little further than what he's got it so this is a 4x map I thought it was because when I got to driving around I was like this this feels big and uh, sure enough it's a 4x map so again I'm loving all the trees uh, now you probably do have to have a pretty good PC to play this because you know my my computer is sort of mid-range it's by no means some big gaming computer um, and I'm only getting you know close to 30 FPS so you know if I don't look at too many trees it goes higher but when you start to get around all these trees and look around and everything it's it really drops the frame rate which I'm not sure, I haven't looked at this map in Giant's editor yet to see maybe if, uh, you know, the clip distances on the trees and buildings and things might could be lowered a little. Might help out some, but you can see as I'm driving along, some of the trees pop into view. Uh, that, that green tree just popped into view. Um, and you, you'll just, you can kind of notice as I'm driving down here, if you look up ahead. But I can, I can see a lot of trees way out there, so uh, I might suggest to, to War Bosby to drop that clip distance down a little. If it's at like 300, maybe go 200 or something, or 250, just a little bit to help out. But anyway, uh, let's get back down here to the, the shop. It looks like there's another gas station or gas pump or something right over there that I didn't catch. But you, you, ba you basically get the idea that this is a... A forestry slash agricultural map. Um, there's animal dealer. Um, there's lots of room, you know, for uh, putting placeables and things. So, if you want to check out this map, be looking for it on uh, the mod sites because uh, did, he did say that he's going to be putting it out there on all the mod sites or as many as he can. Uh, no specific place really, as far as like you know, if you go to some website or of his or or. Uh, you know some Facebook page or something it's just gonna be out there on all the mod sites publicly once this is ready to go but uh, I'm, I'm kinda looking forward to this I'm, I might have a, a good chance at some point to play this and uh, after I roll my truck 
But um, yeah, if you're interested in this map, uh, be looking on my Facebook page. Uh, I'll drop a link there, or I'll maybe update the the video description of this video where the link for this would be. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this map review of Romna by Warbosby. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Yeah.